Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Mother 3. In the last episode, three years had passed in Tasmili Village, and, uh, well, things got better for some, worse for others. And the better that some people are experiencing might just be a hollow better. You, you never really know. People find happiness in their own ways, but sometimes that happiness can be ma manipulated. In this episode, you might notice that we're up near the uh, the Drago Rock. It's because I did play a little bit of the game um, before. I went from where we left off last time, which was uh, just uh, just west of the castle here. And I made my way up here, only to realize that I wasn't recording. So, I'm gonna try and make my way up to... Uh, make my way up to uh, Grandpa's house there. And see if I can't do any any good here. Oh boy. We got a- we got a reconstructed mole. Oh, uh, like, okay. So I had a couple of fights with them, uh, at one point. It was when I died when I realized that I wasn't- what I- that I wasn't recording. Oh boy, RUN! Stu- Ah! The stupid mole, I couldn't- I couldn't charge up a dash in time. I learned their pattern, which is like really weird. Oh, thank goodness. And I didn't even do that much damage because of the rolling counter. Oh, my goodness. Some of these enemies are uh, not great. Okay, I'm gonna try and go up towards Grandpa's house. Oh, and oh, oh dear, hope oh, to God I can avoid these moles. It's really hard to do that. Don't call for help. Oh, thank goodness. I need that heartbeat, man! <laughs> Got a level up out of it, though, so that's good. Boney and Lucas are in a level 12. I wonder how old Boney was three years ago and how old Boney is now. Alright. My goal was to try and make it up here. To Grandpa's house. There is a frog up here. I don't think there's any way for me to recover health, though. Coming soon, Oriander Observatory. Yep, this used to be dear sweet grandpappy's house. I made my peace with the Dragos, so... Uh, unless they've been hunted to extinction the last three years? I should see if I can find them. Over this way, maybe? Nope, I might have come all the way up here for nothing. Well... That's not good. Okay. Well, I got quite a bit of combat experience out of it. Not, uh, not great otherwise, though. Hey, buddy. Mm, I'm not gonna save. Let's check DP stuff. I'm good. I'm good for now. But, uh, the issue I have is that if I die and I save there, then I'm gonna go back to that frog, and I want to make it back down to, uh... I want to make it back down to the village. One thing I did do was, uh, in that time where I wasn't recording is that I went up to Lighter's house. And, aha! Made it! Okay. I went up to Lighter's house. And... Come on! There we go. Uh, he's pretty much- he more or less told me to look for Flint. Also, the lizard was pointing me to the- to the right. I think. Yeah, so what's to the right? To the right of here. Oh, I've got to figure out a way to get across the bri- uh, across this river. That's what it's telling me anyway. Did I already open this? Oh, there's a waltz rhythm in there, yeah. Well. Ah. A waltzing rhythm. A little dog just came over to say hi to me. Are you my bony buddy? 
I don't want to fight those again. I fought them once, and now, now I don't want to do it again. They don't, oh, they hit like a truck, and I had to use my uh, sprinting bomb to get rid of them. Can I? Uh oh, please tell me it's just the chicken. Thank goodness. Whew. Okay, we can at least get rid of them. If I'm supposed to go there. This is this is getting a little bit confusing to me now. Also, I can't help but notice that the uh, the Majipsy village is is gone. I need to be careful. Okay, when I was running up here, I, like I I fought one of those yam monsters and they dealt they hit like a truck, so uh, I didn't want anything to do with them. Let me go up and talk to. I wonder if I can get this present without without hitting the. Okay, got a Pisces bracelet. That's <laughs> hey anything I can get at this point. Equip. No, nope. other Pisces bracelet. Thank goodness. Some defense. All right. Now where is? Oh yeah. I got the items that were up this way. The chicken's not that. The, the slither hens aren't that bad. But uh, we got we got lighter up here. And I think he just tells me to go find Flint at the uh, at the graveyard. I've seen old Flint lately. How's he doing? Is he visiting her grave again? So yeah, I did come up here for nothing at this point. Unless there's a way for me to build a bridge across to where I'm assuming the Majipsies are. Uh, but for the time being, I'm gonna run back down to the forest, take a quick soak in the hot spring. Oh, I hate these the really flying mice because they really fly. They really fly and they're really cooking with easy bake. Okay. Get them rhythms in. I wasted a bunch of time going up there to for absolutely nothing. Let me at least heal before I head back down to the village. Cause I need that healing badly. It's like uh it's like that old uh the old adage from Gauntlet. Wizard needs food badly. What which version of Gauntlet was that voice clip in? I highly doubt it was in the DOS one. This one was made for DOS anyway. Oh, we just got our health back and then lost it immediately. I find it funny how Lucas has has power points, but but no access to any PSI spells yet. But hey, it's just gonna it's just gonna be something that we have to deal with for the time being. Came into here, we uh, oh a kid from the village. You're so nice and unsophisticated. What if I gotta make a t maybe I take the train? Uh, I'm at the train. The train station is okay. So let me try going to the graveyard again. Could try going to uh, Osohe Castle because I'm pretty sure maybe I go home and I find Flint there because I'm pretty sure I'd have already been up here. Yeah, Flint's up, not at the uh, the grave anymore. And the omelet patch is taken out of Osohe Castle. I can still get into Osohe Castle, but I'm pretty sure it's not where I'm supposed to go. Right now, I, it seems that I'm pretty directionless uh, right now, which is which to me is good in terms of, like relative gameplay, but not great in terms of like of doing a let's play because you know I'm a police officer, yeah. Go to Club Titty Boo to check out the uh, DCMC concert. Wish uh, at work would end early. I don't even know where Club Titty Boo is. Oh, these are the people coming back from the factory. Come on now, Jackie, get real. Can't possibly be him. Just think about it. No one's seen no hide nor hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas.
Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Uh, there's this concert hall named Club Titibo past the factory. And the bass player there looks kind of like Duster. Jackie here is convinced he's Duster. But he ju looks just like him. I really think we should uh, tell Old Man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure, but we'd only wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. This guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyways, time to head home and save some chow, uh, and have some chow while I watch the happy box. Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving too. Well, see ya, Lucas. Tell Flynn I say hi. It was weird how they kind of phased behind Boney's mouth. Train will be coming for a while. I.e., you can't get in there. <laughs> Only heard the rumors. But, uh, you are the ones who stock- Are you the ones who stock up on food and then walk around without ever eating it? You really do need to eat, you know. You're still young. I mean, that's just how the inventory system works. I only eat when I'm- when I'm hurt. And if I'm never hurt, then I guess I'm starving to death. Oh, hello. Oh, there's Facade again. Here comes Wes. Facade! Stop it! Quit ruining this town any more than you already have! There's something not right about all this lightning, especially today's. I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant! Keep your grubby hands out of this town's affairs! Why, hello there, Mr. West. You know, if you keep making the veins on your forehead pop out like that, happiness will only escape you. By which I mean your hair, in this case. In any case, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Well, it's been fun. Please be careful not to trip, get hurt, or go bald on your way home. Cease this violence! I'm no bug, I'm an old man! Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Lucas. I really wish you would put a happy box in your home already, so you could be happy just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. He's being a jerk. Alright, let's go talk to Wes. He got hauled off to the- uh, quite literally hauled off to the home. Wes? You in here? Nope. Oh, Lucas. I really embarrassed myself earlier. I cursed that facade treating me like a bug. Like a stag beetle. What? A guy who looks just like Duster? Could that moron still be- Lucas! I'll now lower my voice and talk to you in a whisper. I hate to ask, but could you go and see if this lookalike really is my moron or not? Facade's cronies are on the lookout for me, so I can't go anywhere or do anything. Please, go find that moron for me. If you find Duster, send this dove to let me know. Long last, my time to be useful has come! Received a carrier pigeon. Thanks, Lucas. I'll go myself, but everyone's on the lookout for me. Alright, time to catch that, that, that train. Squeaky floors and whatnot. Everyone here looks happy, but it's basically just a way to push the old people out of the way. Especially the ones who don't conform to, uh, to the new society that Facade and the Pig Mask Army has built. Anyway, moving on up to the east side. Hello, is the train coming? The train that goes directly to the factory from the station is currently out. But the conductor's out of town, so I don't think the train will be coming back today. If you really want to go to the factory, it's like just walking along the train tracks. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. Well, I did force Facade to walk all the way to, to Tess Millie by not taking the, uh... Wait, 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 wait! Thanks for waiting. I don't know what reasons you got, but it looks like you want to go through this tunnel, right? I know you won't listen to me if I try to stop you, so here, I'll give you this instead. Seems a railway map. Do you know what the most frightening thing inside the tunnel are? Nope. They're not Slytherins in much rooms or anything like that. The answer is trains. 
Trains are the most dangerous thing of them, of them all in there. So be very careful not to get hit by any. All right, I'm in the railway. Wow! Holy cow! Are they mushrooms or mute shrooms? Counter a rambling mushroom! Rambling mushroom attacks! There we go. <laughs> hey, I finished that, that uh, fight off uh, very quickly. An edible mushroom. Doesn't look like you can go through this uh, chain link shutter. Oh, I like the music in here. The beat being the uh, the sound of a uh, of a train on the on the tracks. Ah! Being absent-minded. Good God. I don't need to- Oh boy! I solidified. Alright, got rid of one. Assuming I can skip that. Able to move again! Hey, let's go! Goodbye, Slytherin! Yeah, so I made the wrong choice by going up that direction, but you know what? I still got a uh, valuable experience for it. And now I can uh, kill a Slytherhead. Whew! Ooh, smash! Didn't even need the combo. I was waiting for that one little break in the song before I start attacking uh, again because. Well, it's kind of a pain not to. Alright, so now we're outside. There's still Slitherhens around. I wonder if there's anything else, like like any any Prezies left on the track. Hell, what the heck is this? A squawking stick? I'm glad I got the squawking stick. I'm gonna do that goods. Oh, he still has stuff. All right, eat the nut bread, Boney. Ah! Ah! Oh, I hate it when they call for help like that! A little bit slow. There we go! Oh! Oh, for goodness sake. Whew, all right. At least I get experience for all the help that's being called, but I'm glad I got rid of that stick first, because otherwise it, it would just kept calling for help over and over again. Where's Boney keeping its bread? His bread, rather. I'm gonna give the edible mushroom to Boney. And I'm gonna eat the... beef jerky. Gonna need to grab some uh, some more foodstuffs at some point. Oh, damnable chickens! Oh, oh, and the mushrooms coming! All right, try to take this thing out quickly. What is that? A mushroom dog? 
Mushroom. Ah, there it is. Okay, mushroom makes more sense now. Scattered spores. Didn't work on the mushroom. Alright, one down. Now we gotta take care of the mushroom. I was thinking like mute fruit, like from Fallout. Scattering spores again. Whew! Okay. Well, what does scattering spores do? Is he just producing more mushrooms at that point? Alright, got a bread roll. I think that- I don't know how much damage I took in that battle, but I think it might have been, might have been worth it to do so. Still in the, in the underground. So many slither hens! Are they all gonna attack me? No, just two of them. One down. Heck to this beak. Man, these these like I'm sorry there isn't much commentary going on right now, but it's it's uh it's a little bit qu uh like hard to give good commentary when it's just like when I'm traveling down a long stretch of rail with nothing else to talk about other than the uh, the enemies and the and the the train tracks. Woof! What's this? Somebody stripped. Woo, woo, woo. There's a magic butterfly here, but that's not gonna help me at all. Magic butterfly made everyone Lucas's party relax. That just uh, uh, restored PP. Girlish clothes are lying on the ground. Open the present, and there was another magic butterfly. Neat. I kind of wish there was. Uh, uh, I'm a magic butterfrog. I'm not very proud of my name. Do you need something? Yes, I might as well save. Your vague expression. I guess it must be my name, huh? Alright. Well, let's climb up this ladder here, then. Oh, there's a hot spring! And it's a majipsy! You caught me stark naked! Oh, aren't you that boy I met at Aeolia's house three years ago? Remember, you said you were going to Drago Plateau to avenge your mother. Huh? That wasn't you. Really? How odd. I'm Ionia, one of the Majipsies. This is a magic butterfly colony. I often come here to be revitalized after I've worn myself out by overusing my PSI. Are you here because you overused your PSI too? Oh, you've never heard of PSI? That's odd. I sense loads of magical power coming from you. Wait. Just endure it for a little bit. Don't struggle. Just endure it for a little bit. Yeesh. Just a little more. Okay. Drowning? Something awoke inside Lucas. Learn life up alpha. Learn healing alpha. Lastly, power whooped up from deep within his heart. Lucas realized the power of PK love alpha. Lucas learned how to use PSI. Oh my goodness! I can't believe it! You can use PK love! Not even we Majipsies are able to use it! You sly devil, you! I don't know where you come from or where you're going, but we might meet again. So at least tell me your name. Lucas. Thanks, I'll remember that. Now go. I want to boil up too. Did I revitalize in here? How's my health? No, no, no. I need to boil up as well, please. Yeah, that's the ticket. 
Oh, thank goodness. Now I can finally utilize my PSI. Or my PK. My PK Spox. Good dude. Check him out. PSI, let's try some PSI love. PK love. All right, not bad in a pinch. Don't need to use it all the time, but when I do, it'll come in. It'll come in great handy. There's a mushroom there. Fine, you want to go? Let's go, dog. Hooray! I did it! Attack the mushroom headbutt! There we go, down goes the mushroom! I'll take my- uh, you know, maybe I'll take mushrooms over mushrooms when I play Minecraft next. Please don't write graffiti on signs, like hot dog or dog food. What, uh, what strange, uh, strange things to do. Chip chip! Sparrow advice! Have you ever noticed that you can uh, send weak enemies flying if you dash into them? Feels pretty good, huh? Pretty addicting, huh? But those don't count as real fights, they won't let you get any so-called experience points. Huh? You already knew that. Or are you just pretending to know? You're not pretending, are you? Well, in any case, time to end this with a sparrow-like chirp 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 chirp! Woo! Open up the present, got a sprinting bomb! Tasmania one direction, uh, factory in the other direction. Tracks are directly below me, the cliffs are above. Oh, I want to go to the city of tracks. Oh, got rid of that one pretty quickly. All that mole did was grin. He grinned and bared it. Ooh. Get into the cave. Uh-oh! Ah! They said the next train wasn't coming for a while! Must be close to the factory, then. Uh, we are increasing the number of cattle snakes. Extremely dangerous. If you see one, stay away. Um, view them only from a distance. Uh, oh, Jesus. Extremely dangerous? They don't seem that bad. From here, there's the squawking sticks or whatever they're called. But they can't get me directly. Although, if I want to get that, I might have to go through one. Yep, I gotta go through one. Okay. It's gonna squawk. Oh, thank goodness. The squawking stick stopped moving. Alright, looks like we're making our way to the, the area here. The area that we need to go. As as such from my descriptive powers, got a bread roll. Was that worth it? Maybe. I'm not slacking off at all. Sort of like, you know, keeping an eye out for people who are slacking off. Yeah, what are you smirking about? It's 50 DP per person for factory workers. Uh, for everyone else, the ticket to Crossroad Station is 2,500 per person. Are you a factory worker? Yes. You're lying, aren't you? The two tickets will be 5,000 DP. And I suggest you walk to Tesmilly. Gee, thanks! Are these- are these enemies will they fight me? If I could find a frog, I'd test it first. Got some flea powder. Casablanca, Humphrey Bogart. Breakfast at Tiffany's, Audrey Hepburn. Plan Planet Nine from Outer Space, some nuts. Ah, they're not wrong. For some reason, Luke is starting to feel feverish. Well, I can't run anymore then. Like I said, if I can find a frog, then I want to encounter one of those. Ah, here we go. Ha, do you need something? Well, save your game or transfer DP. 
Let's go ahead and save our game. We'll save our game and then we'll encounter a, uh, uh, a cattle snake and see how deadly it truly is. Uh, except I have to fight one of these stupid squawking, squawking sticks again. Oh, God damn it. All right. I've had enough. All right, here comes a mushroom. Seven. Heck with this big 12. PK Love. There we go. Yeah, some hard earned experience there. And the enemy left a present in the form of an edible mushroom. All right. All right, cattle snake. Ooh, you are an enemy. Snuck up in the cattle snake from behind. All right, let's go all out on it. Sniff it. Biological chimera, it's weak against ice, uh, weak against crying. What's well, very unfortunate that's weak against crying. <laughs> I love its face. Oh, a little doofy face. It's probably in everlasting pain. Oh yeah, I'm gonna lose. Eat some nut bread, bud. I have to expend all my PK love on it in order to beat it. But, I would like to beat it. Swung his tail violently, 76. And that was all my PSI. So now I'm down to just hitting it with regular attacks. But Berserk, 104 damage to Boney and 99 damage to Lucas. All right. The battle was lost as it was staring this way. You know, we'll try again, but uh, that was just, uh, that was, that was to make an example. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sad at all that I lost. <laughs> Next time on Mother 3, we're going to explore the factory and hopefully figure out if we could find this duster looker-like in town. See you all then, later!